Hello guys, so today we're talking about the uh, how to increase or decrease social media follow icons module size on DV theme. So normally when you have the uh, when you use the social media follow module, you'll uh, have this size. So it's, it's, a, it's an okay size, but you know, if you want to make it bigger like this, or if you want to make it smaller like this, there is a way, of course, the CSS way, and it's actually not that complicated. So uh, yeah, let's get to the tutorial. Okay, so first of all, we have to make a page. So for example, tutorial uh, icon bigger or smaller. All right, use the DV builder. Build on the front end. Let's cross this out first. All right. So start building here. So we added a row, of course, and in the social media follow module. Here you can see Facebook and Twitter here, but first uh, we have to add the class. So social icon bigger. Should just add the S -S social icons bigger. All right, save that, and then here. So we can just publish that for the sake of the tutorial. Okay, here, and then now since we've added the class there, now we have to add that the CSS. <clears throat> so we go to CS theme customizer. Sorry about that. <clears throat> yeah, so we just wait. We just wait for it to load. Actually, you can add it in the uh, theme options as well. But for me, whenever I, I add the C I add CSS, I add it to the theme customizer. So here, additional CSS. Have to go all the way to the bottom. And then here, so I just added the space down here. And then there's a code which I have already copied and pasted. And so you can see it immediately uh, changed the size here. So let me undo that here, the normal size, and then here is the bigger size. So here, if you look over here and over here, there's actually two parts to that CSS. These, this is the uh, class that I've added in here. Here, social uh, hyphen icons hyphen bigger. And you can see it's actually here also. And you have to make sure that there's no uh, there's no space in between these and here. So for example, if I add a space here, go back to the original one. So because the the, the no space part it makes them like you know, so the the CSS is all together. And uh, yeah, so they're they're working side by side and together. So yeah, you have to make sure that you don't add the add the space there or it will not work. Okay, so here width line height so for example let's say uh, i added the I, I i moved the width let's make it smaller maybe 30 and then 30 you can actually see the changes already happening here so 30 and then here 30 let's make them all the same 30 but of course see now the the icons itself are, are too big and now you have to adjust the font size in here so maybe let's put 18 something like that so now it's more uh, it's more aligned it's more uh, you know cleaner and uh, you can keep adjusting that so maybe you want to make it 20 here 20 here so you can actually play around with this and this is also a good way to understand how CSS works and here 14 so right here you got of course you can change that to 12 also and uh, so this is very small now and uh, yeah that's actually just about it so you just have to make sure that the CSS is correct here. Normally, for me, I even make mistakes on like maybe I have no S here, so you can see that there's a change already. But make sure you just it's just all the same. And then the will so yeah, if you want to make it bigger, like put 80, 80, uh, and 80 here, and then 80 here. All right, but this is too small now, so. Of course, you want to adjust that 60 right here. So um, I think that, that that should be about it. Uh, well, I hope this has helped. And uh, yeah, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask, and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.